We're going to take a look at the eDrawings improvements in 2016 now. So the first area that's seen some improvements is regarding the measuring tool. So if we start the measuring tool now, what it actually does is it, it picks up the default units from the SOLIDWORKS document and enables us to measure in those units straight away. So it ensures that there's no confusion uh, across unit systems, which helps to reduce any errors of interpretation. You'll also see along the top that it now allows for tabbed documents. Uh, so multiple view tabs will just allow us to quickly and easily navigate multiple documents. If we go to a secondary document here, you can see that the annotations are displayed on screen for us quite nicely. But also we can capture any 3D views from the model if we're using MBD. So that information is brought across into eDrawings as well. We've long had the ability to hover over the components and it give us the file name information. But what we can now do within the options page is actually turn on additional component descriptions from the SOLIDWORKS model as well. So if we hover over here, you'll see we get a much more detailed description of what the component actually is, which can help with a number of different things. That's also available from within the components window, shown here on the right hand side. Manipulation of the models is a lot easier in 2016 now as well. So when we're zoomed in, the rotation is actually around the centre of the model rather than the centre of the scene. And when we're uh, zoomed right in, you'll see a little crosshair appears indicating where the centre of rotation is. If we just hide a couple of components on screen and maybe just manipulate our view a little bit here, just to rotate around, Control-Z, or the Windows shortcut for undo, is now available within eDrawings as well. Control-Y will redo as well. So it's nice that that consistency is brought across here as well. If we go to our final tab, collaboration and communication of designs with everybody is uh, key to eDrawing success. And now with the support for welded information within the eDrawings, we can ensure that any documents we send to manufacturer are including the right information. So we've seen the tab document system. We can rotate about a point. We saw the 3D views for assemblies the additional descriptions in the component list. There are, uh, or there is support for radial explodes and also a slider explode tool. We saw the weld feature support. What we didn't look at is model break view support, but that's in there. And we also saw that we can undo and redo.